I had a couple of other things. Um, Ray Rice, you want to talk about the yes. Ray Rice situation. Yes. Give us your, your reaction. You know, I, I've been hearing um, just the reactions from around the country, and a lot of people are saying, you know, get rid of him. It was horrible what he did, and it was. It was tragic for us to see that happen to that young woman. Mm -hmm. It really was. There's no excuse for that. On the other side of it, there's the beauty in it, because you see this woman saying, I'm going to stand by my husband. The world saw him at his worst moment. And have you ever had a worse moment? Have you ever had a worse moment? And in our worst moment, we would want empathy. We would want someone to say, Monique, that was a real bad moment, but come here. Have you been there? Yes, All right. yeah. I've been there. Yes. I've been there to have my worst moments. Yes. There was a time I wanted to say domestic violence. There was a time I did say it, mm -hmm. but the truth was we would just fight. And if I would lose, now I'm gonna call the police. It's domestic violence, uh -huh. yeah. but if I won, we just had a fight. You see, people, some people are taking your position and seeing her being very noble in doing this, but a lot of people are saying it's the battered, the battered wife group. syndrome. You know, let me say this because, and people are adding money to it. You know, well, maybe she doesn't want to leave because of the wealth yeah, and the money. And well, sure. My first husband, I was nine, he was 19, I was 20. We were kids. We were kids. So you really don't know what that dynamic is. Mm -hmm. You don't know what that is. And to say the bad at wife syndrome, well, there are some women that do suffer that. They are, well, they just can't leave. Right. They can't walk away. There are some women that say, we went through this. We did. But we're going to pull through. We're going to make it work for me. And for me and my husband, we had this conversation about Ray Rice and his wife. Don't erase that baby. Yeah. Don't throw him away. Right now, you see there is a major problem, and this is a teachable lesson for America. Yep. Well, see, we speak hope. of religion, and we yeah. speak of forgiveness. But the moment someone messes up, we say throw them away and get rid of them, and then we will just totally, I don't know, we rip each other apart so much, they have to face the world every day. Well, you know, I've said earlier, and I, I, I'm usually skeptical about everything mm -hmm. uh, because I've lived in the world a few years. I sense here right now that this particular incident is truly Changing. opening up and it's a cliche to say national conversation and I can throw up from that phrase because th they turn out never to be national conversations mm -hmm. but there really is a conversation and scrutiny and a spotlight be maybe we'll get some change out of it. forget just Ray Rice and football maybe we'll actually get a change in how people approach this hopefully we will get change but hopefully what we will get is compassion because again we watch every day people speak of religion we watch the pastors and preachers on every, almost every channel speaking of religion and God and Jesus. Well, when, at what point do we put that into play? Mm -hmm. At what point do the men rally around this young brother and say, listen, you got to ass whooping coming because all the men are supposed to give him a beating and say, you never do that again, Hold but let's ha be held accountable, but let's not rip them apart. Yeah. yeah. I, oh. It, it's, it's real because most of us as women, we want to say, throw him away. Look at what he did. Well, of yeah. course, because you say any, anything is forgivable, but decking you with a left hook and knocking you unconscious yes. is not forgivable. Well, let me say this to you, Steve. When you see a woman that goes to a jail and visits a prisoner that killed her child, mm -hmm. and she says, I forgive you. Now, she can't ever see her baby again. Right. So how is it unforgivable? Every action that we do is forgivable. It's all in how we approach it. Mm -hmm. It's in what we do with it. If that couple decides that we are going to stay together, we're going to work through this. Talk to a couple that's been together for 50 years. I want